Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post. I think I'll follow that train. I want to follow that train. Let's follow that train. If I do that. Still following. Good. Hi. Yes, I'm Ajax Post. This is Transport Fever 2. And we're following a train which is, well, it's, it's actually been going for a little while, but we've rejigged it recently. This is the Manila Tools train. You may remember a couple of episodes ago, we, uh, we rejigged our logs into planks into tools routes here to make it slightly more efficient and get more of each material shipped in and shipped out again. I've been watching it a little bit, well, not very closely to be honest with you, but noticed, I'm gonna pause it now because there's things I want to do. We're getting quite a buildup of tools here. 293 are waiting at the tools factory and the train itself carries 108. Not even half that amount. The other concerning thing here is knowing the rules of the game is that the rate of this particular line, 137, doesn't match the output of this factory which is now exceeding 250. Ideally the root rate and the factory rate should be more or less e equal or at least close approximations thereon too. So what are we going to do? We want to get these tools out because they make money. In fact, does this train make money? Uh, I, I can do. Yes, it doesn't look very profitable there, does it? But I mean, that is quite an impressive gap between the profit, sorry, the income and the expenditure. Yeah, and if we get more of these goods out. So what are we going to do? This particular train, what's it look like? So if we bring you up here, we don't need the line. No, we don't, don't need the lines anymore. So if we look at you, you are traveling at 50. You're a media, yeah, yeah, you're not a great powerful thing. The only thing is you do actually have, I, okay, I do want the line back up. <laughs> you do have a modest distance to cover. So I think we need something reasonably powerful on there. So either another train entirely or just bolster this one and give it more power, more capacity. Now that's actually a reasonably powerful locomotive. Uh, get rid of you. Uh, actually, my name is the vehicle. Get rid of you. Don't need you. And let's have a look at this. So in terms of steam, we'll go for power, shall we? Uh, oh yeah, we got you. You are yes, you're not that fast. That's okay, but you're mighty powerful. I, I yeah, we've got several options which are more powerful. I think. Okay, let's let's spend big money. Compare compare the running costs. One point four million per year compared to seven hundred. So it's basically twice as expensive. But I think that could work out more cost effective. He said very much hopefully, remove the locomotive, add the locomotive. We've got excellent rate now on the power. So we could add, these are all box cars, aren't they? Yep, because they're carrying tools. So let's uh, let's change this back to type. Uh, so yeah, our latest Japanese wagons all go at 40 still, I think. Yeah, so we'll use the standard boxcar. How many of these can we fit in? Oh, it's still good power, actually. 190 meters. Okay, let's try that. 216 capacity. So that's pretty much double, isn't it? Modify that. It is exactly double from nine con gondolas. Not what? So, sorry, I did, there, I'm thinking about gondolas because there's something else that I might do in this episode which involves gondolas. So I've got them on the brain, I'm afraid. And my brain can't really deal with too many things, same, similar things at the same time. So yeah, boxcars. So that is good. So let's run that in there. A bit faster, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, they take so long when you're waiting for them, don't they? I suppose I could industrialise this a little bit more. Oh dear, you're too long. This is only 160, isn't it? This. Uh, okay, you need to be a bit longer. 
and we're going to add in some more tracks. It's going to be high speed and electric because we do have an electric train. The one bringing the planks down is electric. Ah, high speed, of course. In there, and in there, and a little bit of cargo platforming. So that should take you up to 200, which should be plenty for this train. Yeah, I'm not getting any indication of a deficit of a lo loading path. No. Go there. Are you okay? No. Go back in. Yes, you can't go. Oh, you are so annoying. <laughs> uh, you're going... Actually, you're on the right side there, so let's get that out of the way. Right, now you can go. Right, so let's put those tracks back in. The catenary, yeah. And we'll put that there. Okay, wait for the train to get out of the way. That's the click point. There you go. You're a bit... You are a bit slow. You're too slow. Sorry, I want it to be faster than that. This was going to be the sim... What, what is it doing? It's doing something stupid. Okay, that's better. Alright, a little bit faster. Every little bit helps, as they say. There you go. So you should be fine. Uh, so that's a 200 metre length platform now, and the train is 199. That's fine. Uh, I think we also want to deal with... What have I just done? I've just spun the map round. Sorry about that. This uh, electric train, where's it gone? Oh, you're coming back. You're carrying 156. We, we need to add more to you, don't we, actually? 400. What's the rate on that route? 320. You're not that far off, actually. Okay. Now, before I started the, the actual recording, I did have a quick poke at a possible replacement for this. And we do have a relatively new electric locomotive. So if I come in here. So this is the uh, EF52, which is you here. 1350 going at 59. Yeah, which is faster than the wagons can go anyway. But this one, the EF12, 47, but 1.6. A little bit more powerful and more modern. So I think if we take you away, add you, and you are stake cars, aren't you? Flat car with, with side stakes. So let's find you in here. That'll be you. Another couple. We'll see how that does for that. Good. So that helps with that. That'll keep that going. And uh, I'll worry about that more uh, in a bit. Now, the first thing I wanted to do in terms of basic maintenance is, again, more to do with freight, is I've noticed that some of my cities don't actually have proper in-town freight delivery. Like Manila, for example, has no in-town freight delivery. Everything comes straight from the train station. If we have a look at the cargo distribution, it is mostly centred around there. If I take that off again. Yeah, it's not getting out here, is it, to the industrial buildings. So those are the machines. Yeah, it's not getting any. It's getting some food. What we want then is proper in-town distribution. And the same thing also is true of Yerevan which is there and we have commercial and do we have industrial buildings where are they they're around here somewhere i did check this out before i came in again mostly clustered around the station but it's going to be some like these out here which are getting nothing getting nothing from there yep so we want that uh, turpan it's another one which does have an in-town cargo route, but 
it's not delivering everything it can do. Certainly to that side of the town. You see, so what I'm going to do, a quick bit of speed buildy type stuff, I'm going to add some in-town cargo routes, or expand the one in Turpan, but I'm going to add them afresh to Manila and Yerevan. So this will only take a couple of minutes, hopefully, in terms of speed build anyway. I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes' time.
Right, well that's our three towns with their new improved local delivery services and hopefully they will not only make a little bit of money themselves but also most importantly encourage our businesses our suppliers to actually ship more goods out to each of these towns i've used a, a modded truck station here as you can clearly see and the only issue with, the, with these of course is they're not as expandable as the basic uh, base game vanilla vanilla uh, stations are so if for some reason loads and loads, truckloads, tray loads of goods are dropped here, it may overflow and that will mean actually replacing this station, I think. Uh, I don't think it is. Well, you could, well, I could configure it actually. There is some configuration I might be able to do. That's good because a lot of these modded stations, they look great and they're ideal for sort of detailing and setting up a, a, uh, an arrangement, but they're not great for expansion. Uh, I'll tidy this up, paint it and smooth it out a bit more as we go in. And if Manila actually gets goodies delivered, interesting simple that, it says cargo. Oh, one other little word here I'll actually say is I'm actually using uh, the latest beta build of the game. There's a new update coming. Uh, I haven't seen a deadline or a timeline for it yet, but it's, and it's mostly a fixing and tweaking and slight improvement of various things of the game following the the last spring update with the console support and so on yeah there's not a lot of new features or anything like that so if something looks a little bit odd or different then that is more than likely down to the beta okay so we've got those towns sorted out what's next for today's episode we're going to stay with freight for a little bit longer we will get on to passengers very soon but we saw in the last episode possibly before that as well a couple of comments about uh, the towns up here having new demands primarily dmbn foo which is demanding all sorts of good stuff which is being ooh, hang on uh, is, uh, is our little truck stop here being over subscribed Does, is it getting more than it can handle quite possibly so do we need to improve four aces here now four aces uh, uh, you don't actually deliver into DMBN Foo, do you? So it looks like... Oh, that's interesting. I, it looks like the local delivery into DMBN Foo is becoming overloaded. Now, what vehicles... You, know, you are running the tarpaulin. Now, you carry 12, don't you? I think we're going to need a few more vehicles on there. And the four aces is only delivering into that local delivery system there. But it's also taking some stuff back, as we saw, to here, to the factory, to the food factory. <laughs> Presumably for onward distribution into Rangpur. Because that, uh, uh, yeah, for plastics. Um, where are the bricks wanted? Where the heck are the... I, 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 I'm losing track. Obviously, the, the bricks are being somehow distributed. No, the bricks aren't for four aces. Just the plastic. Yeah, the plastic is obviously for the goods factory up here. Okay. Right, I think I'm understanding. It's a very faint line here separating out the uh, the two routes. Yeah, and I was, uh, I was mixing them up. So, I think we, yeah, we do need a couple more trucks here on DMBN Foo. So, we will take that. And clone you. Four aces, you're nice and profitable there. They could probably do with a couple more trucks. That, well, one more truck perhaps on there for the moment. So we'll manage you and we'll clone you. There we go. And we'll give you... Oh, actually, I wondered why that was shorter. That name was short. It's because there's no space in there after the name. So we'll, we'll name this vehicle. There you go. Man trucker number six. However, what I was thinking up here was we might need to look more closely at what Rangpur wants and if it's getting delivered. Rangpur food delivery is delivering just food at the moment, but Rangpur also wants and is getting a few machines. And the machines, I don't know where the machines are coming from. There are machines coming into Erewhon Airport here. 
a good number of which are then being no sorry it's tool oh and machines are being shipped out here back to the hub it's yeah, yeah it is getting awfully complicated so I think we need to up our game here so what we got we've got these little trucks here this needs to ship more now are you getting the goods into the right places not really. I don't think you're really covering. Covering a bit of that side of town, but I think we could do again with another cargo stop. That side of town. Okay, that's what we will do. Uh, so we've got uh, the food delivery. We'll have to change the name of the truck route as well. And our local passenger route. So where's our cargo stop going to be over here so you're going around that way I think if we put you up here somewhere yeah and then you can come back that way yep that works there you go and again we'll upgrade the streets so they're faster because 19 mile, miles an hour is fine but for our vehicles which can, could travel at 37 I want them to travel that fast basically uh, what am I? Um, am I clicking stuff here? Don't don't click. Ah, yeah, there's the route going that way. Yeah, I want all these roads to be as fast as possible for my vehicles. Yep, that's good. We may need to do another one. But we want to manage this line here. So after Fourth Street, you want to go up there. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. So if we went up the other route. It would get stuck behind that bus stop, potentially. But more importantly, what we'll do, I think we're because they've proven themselves to be so successful out there in DMB and Fu, I think we'll hand over running of this route as well to uh, the good people at Four Aces. There you go, Four Aces rang poor delivery, and the vehicles, they're getting a bit, what am I, what the hell am I clicking on? Oh, I must have clicked. I don't know what I clicked on then. Right, so we're going to change these vehicles, which are little Russians. There, so we're going to replace you. 25, carrying 6. No, no, we need more than that. So we'll take you, we'll replace all of you. Okay, and we'll probably add in at least one more. Okay, and we'll also colour you in that nice orange colour. I might rename them to be Mad Truckers as well, just because. Oh, my goodness, time's getting away. We've gone into 1944. We've got a new aeroplane, new electric locos. They're quite slow, though, which isn't what we're after. And that's going to be all oh, just the two new wagons. OK, so that aeroplane, if we go down here, is that going to be, I think that's a passenger. You're the freight, aren't you? So, where's our passenger line here? You are the Douglas DC-3. So, can I replace you? The DC-4. Yeah, goes a bit faster. Carries 50% more passengers, which is good because we've got loads of people doing this route. So, I think... Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Even though they're not that old. Excellent. Now, the actual cargo planes. You are using the Skytrain, aren't you? Yes, you're the most advanced plane we've got at the moment. Now, something else I was thinking of, actually, is we've now got loads of planes coming into a Jacksima here. And also, because they're all coming down to Port Moresby here. So both these airports are actually getting quite overcrowded. And you can't see it at the moment, but there are times where there's such a backlog, they just queue up on the taxiway here. And it just gets very embarrassing as these plays just queue up in one long line. So I'm thinking of organising them a bit differently. Now we do have another airport here, Hong Kong. 
Yeah, which is taking the machines up there. Are you using sky trains as well? You are. So I'm wondering if Port Moresby could just be a passenger terminal and add in the other cargo planes to come into Erewhon here, to, to Hong Kong here, on the Erewhon route. And again, the trouble is, on these airports, we can't add another runway, and I don't think we can build large airports yet. No, we've only got small airports. I mean, there might be a mod I could use to add a second runway. But what I'm thinking is, is we will get our planes coming in here to Hong Kong uh, freight. It's just a freight airport, isn't it? Yeah. It's a passenger one. There's the passenger one over there, nearer to Hong Kong. Yeah, so we'll separate out that. That's what we'll do, I think. Oh, you're getting overloaded as well. Oh, heck. So many machines. Actually... Ooh, Port Moresby wants machines. So I'm thinking we'll have a track, we'll have a train line running along here into Port Moresby from the airport. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. That's going to be the little sort of the big build, the little big build for this episode of Transport Fever, the Island Hub series. We'll put a new train line in connecting uh, Hong Kong Cargo Airport to Port Moresby. Yep, and redirect the Port Moresby freight air traffic to Hong Kong. Which will probably probably be just as congested, but at least it won't interfere with passengers. And it will be congested at the Jacksima. I I don't know. I want bigger airports, but there you go. Right, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to now stop talking, hand over to the soundtrack, and I'll see you again in a few minutes' time after we've reconstructed some fabulous new Inter Island Railway. See you then.
So that's all set up now. We have a new train linking the two airports at Hong Kong and Port Moresby. I've just realised that those lines are very similar colours, aren't they? Very similar indeed, so perhaps that one ought to be a different colour. So let's, can we change that there? We can, and we'll make you that deep red. That's lovely. Good, so we can see you. Now, quite how that will impact <laughs> on the distribution and profitability of my goods, I'm not entirely sure. But we shall find out. But I quite like the idea of having this fabulously inter-island suspension bridged train line between the two islands. I was a little bit concerned, you may have seen that, about the navigability of this stretch of water. It's not entirely navigable. I will actually have to dig a trench to cut this sandbank out. But that bridge did seem rather low. But we shall see. Not that we'll want ships going around there, to be honest. We shall see. Anyway, that I think will do it for this episode of Transport Fever 2, the Island Hub series. Goodness knows what the congestion is going to be like here. And I dare say that's going to get even fuller, isn't it? We really do need. Perhaps I should stick in a second airport. Maybe that's how to resolve this. We've got four planks lining up there, and the red aircraft will turn up eventually from a Jacksima. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Transport Fever 2. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs yuppie button. Even better, if you've got anything to feel like saying about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, or if you feel like having something named like uh, Mad Trucker and his four aces uh, truck routes up there on the South Island, on the south end of my island map, then just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But I will leave you... Oh, I've left electrics on this station. I'll get rid of them. Don't worry. And <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode. But from me, Ajax Post here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye bye for now.